Yes, it's that time of year when the courgettes in the garden are multiplying like invading aliens. There's one, nice and shiny, just the right size. There you go. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I think that's one for the pigs. It's kind of a bit too beyond grating. And there's another big one. They're great fun to grow, but we always seem to have too many. So here's a simple way of preserving them for when the invasion is over. Twist and pull. Oh, there's something living on it. Something green. We leave that behind, shall we? Bye bye. Okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lovely. Speckledy one. Mm. Lots more flowers coming. Flowers are lovely too. Yes. Just grate them with a cheese grater. Oh, mind your fingers. They have a little handle for ah, holding yeah, on. That's handy. The last Show us the grated stuff there. Yep. Oh, lovely. and put them in bags and pop them in the freezer. There you go, couldn't be easier. Off into the freezer. Yep. Oh my gosh, any space, lots of sheep milk. Those. They'll keep for months like this, but when you do take them out, something interesting has happened to them. The cells have broken open, releasing the water inside. So if you defrost them in a sieve, the water will separate out and you won't be left with a soggy lump. This is how much water came out of it. Wow. That's all that's left. But it's good stuff. And in the meantime, here's a really simple way of cooking courgette. Mix some eggs with some flour. And put the courgette in. And Add some chopped onion and whatever else you fancy. And some pepper for colour. With some chopped herbs. Stir it all up and pour it into a frying pan. Okay. This needs to be cooked slowly because of the onion. But when it's cooked underneath, throw on some cheese and grill the top. Total cooking time about 15 minutes maybe. I have no idea what this is called, but Sandra liked it anyway. It looks yummy Tim. I'm so hungry. Can I have some please? 